Hey everybody, in this episode, we address the question, what is the one simple hack to increase my revenue? Welcome to Click AI Radio, where you'll learn the secrets to transforming your small to medium business. Grant has been helping businesses transform using technology for over 30 years. Advanced technologies like artificial intelligence have been available only to large companies and advanced technical teams. Grant will discuss how you can use to leverage AI and other technologies to grow your small to medium business. As a gift, Grant is offering his ebook, AI for Sales Growth, at clickairadio.com. Now, here's your host and biz tech geek, Grant Larson. Hey, welcome everybody. This is Grant Larson. Thank you for joining. So, okay, been looking at this problem around revenue, right? And as a small to medium business owner, this is constantly a challenge. In fact, I was reading recently some uh, common reasons why small to medium businesses fail. In fact, this was uh, something I saw on Investopedia and of course was looking at other places as well. Came back with these four reasons, right? These were the most common reasons. One, financing challenges or hurdles. Two, inadequate management. Three, ineffective business planning. And four, marketing mishaps. So let's talk about the first one, financing challenges or hurdles, right? So some of the challenges is of course, running out of money. That's always a big challenge. In fact, the first startup company I got involved with that was clearly the problem. You know, not only were we working not smart, but we of course didn't even think through what sort of runway we had on the finances. And so that clearly means that on a day-to-day -day basis, we have to be tracking what's the revenue stream looking like and how are we producing this? In fact, one of the things about this first one, right? The financing hurdles, it's what strikes me is that if we address it, it actually gives us more runway to then address those other three, right? Management challenges, ineffective planning, or, or even bad marketing uh, decisions that we're making. So one of the things that I noticed here from uh, the small business administration, uh, some results that they had, they said 20% of small businesses fail in the first year, 50% go belly up, uh, after five years and th only 33% make it to 10 years. Those are amazing odds. So this first, this first challenge here around financing hurdles really stands out as a critical one to address. So I started to look at it. So what are some of the issues in here? And one of those is around missing the mark on how we price our products. And often we get stuck down into these pricing wars. And that gets into how do, we, how do we define products? What's a funding model for those and so forth? Well, what led me to this next piece I'm gonna go over is after working with some small to medium businesses, I started to hear this common theme about what do my business numbers mean? What do they what do they translate into? Where should I be investing my time and energy as well as my scarce resource? So I noticed over time that a simple framework started to appear out of this, right? And the thing about frameworks is they help us to focus on the things that are most important and then help us to de-emphasize the things that aren't important. And so this framework has appeared over some period of time, working with organizations doing this. So I wanted to introduce this framework. Now a framework generally has a series of steps. And so in this framework, there's three steps. I call this framework the PI framework, spelled P-I-E. Maybe there's another way to spell PI. That's the way I know how to spell PI. The PI framework, P-I-E, all right? And again, this came out of addressing the question, how do I solve these funding hurdle challenges, right? And then in order to do that, what do I have available to me as a small to medium business owner that I can apply into this framework to help me resolve it? So the PI framework um, came out of this, um, uh, out of these groups, right, that I was working with. And here's what P means, ready? P means problem and information preparation. It's like, what the heck is that, right? So for problem and information preparation, one common thing that I've noticed is that some organizations will not 
literally write down what are the serious problems we're facing? How would I prioritize those, right? What, what are the most important problems we're facing? And then what's the information that I have available to me to help me serve as insights, to help me solve that problem? Uh, that's step number one of the framework. Sounds simple, right? Sometimes life is just the simple things. The second step is the I, P-I, okay? So the I deals with intelligence augmentation. Now, this is a course where artificial intelligence comes in. Now, I, I intentionally use the term intelligence augmentation because I, I personally think that's where AI is today. I think it's at the point where we apply it intelligently. And so the insights that come to us that have, that have examined our, our information and the problems that we're looking to solve, that serves as input then to the great intelligence you already have. And so P, problem and information prep. Step two, intelligence augmentation, all right? And then step three is executing on guidance. So that's the E, P-I-E, E, execute on guidance. Now you'd think, why would I have that in there? I find it interesting that over the period of time, a lot of organizations won't execute on the guidance. So you've been given this guidance from AI and they won't do the execution on it. Here's the key about AI. Uh, first of all, the reason why we use the term intelligence augmentation is we're not expecting that we apply it blindly. So we do want to obviously uh, apply it intelligently <laughs> within the context of business constraints that we have. That That is critical. On the other hand, though, while that's being said, I notice that some organizations will do nothing, right? They won't make any adjustments. And hence, I put E in as the third step to the framework. So if you want to have a simple hack for improving your revenue, you apply the PIE framework, P-I-E. Identify your problems and the information preparation that's needed to address those. Run those in through our official intelligence to then give insights that then augment your own intelligence and then make a plan to execute on the guidance. Three simple steps. I have found that when we've applied these in organizations and they've executed on it, they'll discover things that they didn't even know that they didn't know. And that permits them to grow with the right kinds of customers without taking on new resources, which is a, a big challenge, obviously, for small to medium business owners. So there were four common reasons why SMBs failed, right? That it started with one, financing hurdles, two, inadequate management, three, ineffective business planning, and four, marketing mishaps. So today I've talked about the PIE framework to address this first one, right? Which is around financing hurdles. Now the other three items, of course, need to be addressed. But with continued funding through AI-inspired guidance, uh, it's been my experience that it gives a runway, right? It gives a much longer runway to address those remaining three items. But we'll discuss those at another time. For now, let's focus on overcoming the financing hurdles through the PI framework. Hey, thanks for joining. And until next time, get some pie. Thank you for joining Grant on Click AI Radio. Don't forget to subscribe and leave feedback. And remember to download your free ebook. Visit clickairadio.com now.